The Gowanus Canal is a waterway in Brooklyn that it connects to the ocean. I found out that it was incredibly contaminated. I found out that there was a pump that wasn't working and it hadn't been working for 30 years. And I said, well, let's do something about that. And what better way to engage the public by direct contact, by putting your hands in the water with a canoe paddle. So we call ourselves the Gowanus Dredgers Canoe Club. We are passionate community members who want to not only ensure that the waterfront remains vibrant and fun, but the neighborhood as a whole. My wife, who's from Brooklyn, said, forget about it. Nobody's ever going to go canoeing with you on that filthy, contaminated waterway. And believe it or not, a lot of people do. They want to come see it firsthand and check it out. For some folks, they're very excited to go canoeing with us on our sunset voyages. Other individuals were a little nervous or they think you're completely out of your mind. You should not be uh, experiencing a water body that has such a notoriety of contamination. For us, we think it's an incredibly enjoyable experience. We love the sunsets, we love the tranquility, and sadly, we love to see what does flow into the harbor during rainstorm. Because if you see it firsthand, perhaps things can change. The heart of Gowanus is often called the pumping station because the pumping station brings water from the East River and pumps it through the Gowanus Canal. With that circulation of water comes fresh oxygen. With fresh oxygen in our waterway comes life. And so without a working pumping station, you wouldn't be able to have the kind of wildlife that we are seeing on the Gowanus Canal today and for the past two decades. We saw so much wildlife on the Gowanus Canal, it was unfathomable. I saw a three-foot eel on the uh, Gowanus. Uh, the fiddler crabs came back, and horseshoe crabs, blue crabs, striped bass. It's really amazing what does occur when you have an opportunity to potentially contribute less sewage to New York waterways. So there's a current problem of sewage overflow that's occurred basically for the past century. When they built pipes in the city of New York, they built one pipe in the street to handle all of the storm rain water collection, as well as all of the connections to people's homes and toilets, bathrooms, sinks. Today, it doesn't go to the harbor during most days because it can be processed by the sewage treatment facility. But on rainy days, that pipe is overwhelmed with all of the storm water that the sewage treatment facility just cannot handle that volume. Consequently, it has to send the combined sewage along with the rainwater into New York Harbor, Gowanus Canal being one of the more notable uh, concentrations of such discharge. The Gowanus Canal was Superfund designated about 10 years ago, and uh, the EPA, we're delighted to say, has announced that the cleanup is about to start. They feel nervous about uh, recreational boating happening at the same time concurrently with the construction work. We are going to be discussing that with them moving forward to see if we can cohabitate the waterway. We think it's a, a very large waterfront, and um, our boating programs typically occur during non-working hours. And I think it's really a partnership that we look to uh, expanding on and developing further. One of the things that we are very much advocating for is to experience the uh, Gowanus Waterway. To see it as if it's a painting is not really the plan. The idea is to come down here and really enjoy it as a community amenity space. Make sure the open spaces are places people want to linger in and hang out in and uh, eat and drink and sing and see rotating art shows and really uh, enjoy as a community benefit space. Sadly, that's not necessarily what's planned for the future. We're uh, working with the government, hopefully, uh, and with developers to make sure that our shoreline is a place to come and see and experience. And we encourage all visitors to come down and check it out. But most importantly, hopefully government will make sure it will be vibrant and fun.